welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to introduce two books, um, The Pillars of the Earth and The World Without End. Um, why I, you know, remember these two books? Because the COVID-19, uh, I actually, I listened to them um, by the Audible book. These two books uh, were sequel, you know, uh, were written by the same author, uh, Kane Fellett, a British author. The first book was published in 1989. It reached um, the uh, bestseller list anywhere in the world. It sold 24 million copies worldwide. And then uh, uh, since it was published, uh, the critics was overwhelmed and the readers and the listeners, uh, you know, have, have hoped a sequel. So in 2007, uh, the sequel, World Without End, came. It uh, both happened in the fictional town, Kingsbridge. Uh, the stories, you know, in uh, yeah, the first book, The Pillar of the Earth, um, is about the 12th century, you know, England. It's a medieval time. It tells the story um, of uh, Philip, a devoted and resourceful monk. He was driven to build the greatest uh, Gothic cathedral uh, the world has known. And then uh, the, another character is Tom and Manson, and you know, uh, became Philip's um, architect. The Pillar of the Earth is a story of struggle uh, between good and evil um, that turn the uh, church against the state and the brother against the brother. Um, it's a really, uh, you know, well-written uh, story. You may read it. The Pillar of the Earth uh, was turned to a major television series um, with the same name. You can Google it and watch it, probably. The second book, the world without end, you know, proved uh, equally popular after it published in 2007. World without end takes place in the same factional town, Kingsbridge, features the descendants of the uh, same pillars characters uh, 157 years later. The plot incorporates two major historical events, the start of the 100 years old war, uh, between British and the French, and the uh, Black Death, the plague. Actually, uh, after I read the first novel, I was wondering uh, which cathedral it was. You know, I was very interested. I thought someday I will go there to visit it. And then uh, after I searched, I found the author, you know, was inspired by uh, real historical um, events relating to a uh, cathedral of Santa Maria in Spain and yeah actually later the uh, cathedral of, of Santa Maria uh, they built a statue of the uh, author uh, King uh, Philip uh, in front of their church because uh, you know because the book uh, it made the, um, the cathedral um, famous made the town famous, you know, brought benefit to the town. I will show the, uh, you know, the uh, picture of the statue. About the Black Death, uh, it uh, happened in uh, Italy uh, in 1347 in Florence. Uh, the main character, Mathin, was there when the plague outbreak. Uh, so uh, his wife, his wife's parents, they all died. Um, fortunately, Mathin was uh, recovered. After went through all those, he went to go back to his hometown, Kingsbridge, in England, to seek his first love, uh, Curtis. So he brought his daughter, Lola. They went back to Kingsbridge. After they arrived in Kingsbridge, um, Mathin found that thousands of uh, residents of Kingsbridge died in the outbreak of the plague. And the city soon descends to anarchy. And the prayer, you know, of the town uh, named Godwin lost his nerve and uh, 
he takes all his uh, monks fled to a chapel, isolated chapel, and uh, where he and all the monks die, uh, except the two monks who fled. Uh, yeah, you can read the novel about the details. You can see how serious the plagues was. Uh, you know, uh, at that time, the prayer should be, you know, control the city, right? Uh, to help people, but they flee. And then they also died. After the um, prayers, um, if the nunnery dies, uh, so the main character, Caris, she was uh, elected to the uh, prayers and promoted to be uh, acting prayer. Uh, in the absence of Godwin. And she started to use the masks, use vinegars to clean uh, their hands to protect the nuns from the plagues. Yeah, see, this is like a 13, uh, 14 centuries, people already start to use masks and the vinegar to clean, to protect themselves. <laughs> so now we should wear masks too. It must be good, you know, so many years people still use it. Use it. These are the two books I'm introducing. You may uh, read it or listen to it during this period. You can find the details how yeah people died during the Black Death. Uh, you can read the two books to have a clue, you know, from 12th century to 14th century, uh, how the uh, human, uh, you know, society improved their lives during the um, church time, uh, state time, and uh, until later, until now. You can see the history. Actually, you can see how the human being's history was developed uh, from these two books. Uh, how the church and the state, the, you know, they were against each other, and then uh, how the uh, society people managed and uh, to uh, survive from the plague and then uh, have an idea about the histories and uh, you know uh, things thank you for watching see you in my next video